What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's going on guys, Judo Punch Armament coming at you with another video. So today we're going to be talking about the Ruger 1022, very famous gun. Um, if you guys don't know about it, uh, I mean, it's a, probably one of the most iconic popular guns in the gun world right now. Um, it's a fantastic gun, they're pretty inexpensive for the base models like this model right here. It was like 250 with tax, um, they're great guns in different packages like you have the... Um, they uh, take apart one that comes off, you just twist the barrel off, it comes off. This one is not it, this is just a standard Ruger 1022 with the black uh, polymer uh, stock. Now the reason these, these guys are so great, I mean, you know, they come, I mean, they have a detachable magazine, let's just talk about the, the basics of this gun right here. Just have a 10 round magazine. Now, um, I am in California, so that's the max I can get, unfortunately. You can get the, like, um, extended clips uh, that hold 25 to 30 rounds but in California they would still hold 10 they just look different that's the only thing but, um, they're great because they so much you can change on these guns and I'm going to show you guys what you can change on this gun but like there's so much stuff you can get for these guns it's crazy um, all the customization you can spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on these guns and uh, it's hard to find two that'll be the same after you customize it yeah you can you can find most people will probably just keep it in this configuration to put a scope or a red dot some kind of aperture um, and then that's about it you know for a lot of us including myself I mean I have I put a stock on it put some internal parts in it and we'll talk about that later but you can do so much in these guns and it's awesome and there's so much fun to shoot uh, the first couple times I shot this gun it was just at a target um, and then the third time I think I shot this gun I shot it at uh, actual metal targets and that's just so much fun just kind of plinking out there and just just ding, 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 ding. That's so much fun, and it's it's a great time. Uh, it's a great for new shooters, it's great for experienced shooters. I think no gun collection, or no gun owning household is complete without a 22 of some kind. But uh, Ruger, I would say, is probably one of the best, if not the best, manufacturer of the 1022. So of course, your uh, 1022 is not going to come with the scope unless you got some kind of package offered by your store. Um, this specific model I bought at. Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, we are today is October twenty seventh, and this was that was back in March, I believe. So I've had it for about a, a pretty good amount of time. Um, yeah, so I bought this specific gun at Sportsman's Warehouse. They just opened up here in town, and um, it's a great gun. The scope is a Simmons. What is this? Three by nine by thirty two. It's a decent scope. It was only like fifty bucks. Um, it's not some amazing scope, and I didn't want to buy some amazing scope because it's just a twenty two. So again, with this specific model, you get you get the uh, the black polymer stock. You can get it in OD green. Uh, you can get it in a wood stock. Those are pretty much the only. Oh, you can get them like with the more expensive models. You can get them with the uh, different uh, camouflage stocks or the different wood grain stocks. But you know, this is pretty much your most basic model, the Ruger 1022. Now. Like I said, it does come with a 10 round a rotary magazine. They work amazingly well. I think I used this three times and didn't clean it, and it jammed the third time I shot with a stove piping, uh, you know, feeding problem. And so that's that's pretty good. Uh, but of course, clean them every time you use them, as well as well as the gun. But I mean, that, that's pretty reliable after three times. I mean, that's that's, that's pretty decent. And so. Of course, if you do not have a scope on the gun, you do have a front sight right here. You also have your, actually your rear sight is right here, just a flip up sight, and you have your, your front sight right here, kind of like a little bead sight right there. And they're pretty good, they do get the job done. Uh, the thing I don't like about them is that um, your field of view is very small because your front sight, uh, or your rear sight I should say, is about all the way in front. You don't have that much visibility I would say and it would be better if it was back here but uh, not a big deal because you're going to probably slap a scope on it or some kind of aperture on it so it's, it's not a big deal you do have they're not um, sling there are sling mounts but they're just kind of these circles and you can put um, kind of like your keychain uh, rings on them and you can do a sling that way but if you're gonna if you got a new stock like I did you don't really have to worry about those so this is your base model and once you do some customization, it's going to look like this. 
So this is the Fab Defense stock for the Ruger 1022. I love this stock. It's really cool. I'm always telling people about the Fab Defense stock. Um, they're pretty inexpensive compared to a lot of the stocks you can get for the Ruger 1022 um, aftermarket. And so this stock specifically is $130 from Fab Defense. They are based in Israel. And so there is a, quite a bit of time, uh, delivery time for you to get this. Um, probably two or three weeks it took me uh, to get this stock in. But honestly, it's worth it. It's I love this stock. It's just so nice. So this is about pretty much their basic package. You can get them in different colors. Uh, black, OD green like this one, and a tan, a khaki, or desert, however you want to call it. And so pretty much uh, from the pistol grip forward, you're going to be having the same package. Um, you're going to have the three rails, the top and left hand and right hand. You also have the pistol grip, very comfortable, and you have your two QD sling mounts right here. Now, where it gets different is, you know, the actual um, end of this stock. And so mine specifically, I got the foldable stock option. So you just push this little button here. There it is. And so you can see it folds to the side of the gun. And it's really cool. Uh, I use it mostly because my gun bag for the 22 specifically is a little short. And so it's like two inches shorter than the actual gun. So I fold it and put it in there. And it, you probably could use it to actually shoot like this. I mean, the 22 does not have that much any recoil almost. So I guess you could just shoot if you want to get closer behind the scope, I guess. And you want to kind of move around like that. If you wanted to do that, you could. But then you just fold it back and extends right there. Now this is where it gets different and so you can see that you have the um, cheek riser here so you can drop the cheek riser you can raise it up like so. I usually have mine at the second level. Keeps it pretty in the middle. And you also have another two QD sling mounts and you also have another sling attachment point here and another one on the bottom. And you have a nice rubberized stock. Uh, the rubberized stock is a big plus for me because if you look on the standard stock for the 22 that comes with it's pretty much just a kind of a jagged, um, very rough uh, uh, stock for the 22, and it's not that comfortable to me. Now, there are Ruger 1022 packages you can get with a rubberized stock. Like I know uh, a buddy of mine, his dad has the um, take apart model, and it has a very nice rubberized stock on the end of it, so that's, that's a plus for one of those. But of course, you're paying more money for those specific models, and you're going to get a nicer um, package deal with those. But but this one, it is one third, this is what it comes with. You can get um, different stock options, like there's one, it's a crane stock, um, you can do one of those. Um, there's no fixed stock options, I mean the two, the crane stock kind of is a fixed stock, but you can still adjust it like that, and then they have this model. They have one more other model stock as well. So the main difference with the Pro model is that it comes with a full length Picatinny rail that goes from the uh, beginning of the stock all the way to the end of your receiver for the actual 1022. So it's pretty good. Now, as you can see, I have some other options on here. We have the same scope that we had on the regular stock, and so that one's aftermarket that I bought. It's a Simmons 3x9x32, as I mentioned before. And we also have a bipod, as you can see here. This is just a standard, like a UTG uh, bipod off of Amazon. It was like 40, 50 bucks. I mean, I wasn't gonna spend too much on a Ruger 1022 bipod. Um, it's a pretty cool stock. I mean, pretty cool bipod, and so it has, it's adjustable. You just push the little knobs there to make it taller. If you wanted to condense it, you just push those same buttons again, push it down, and then of course, it folds back into the gun, as you can see there. It does it get the job done, and uh, it's very inexpensive for just a 1022. Now, there's a couple other functions of uh, parts and materials you can get for your 1022, and so a lot of those are going to be internal. You can upgrade the trigger groups, you can upgrade, uh, you can upgrade the slide, you can upgrade even the slide handle. Um, you, there's so much you can upgrade internally with these 1022s. Me personally, one of the first things I did not like about the 1022 is that when your mag is empty or you're trying to reload, or you're trying to pull back the slide for whatever reason, you always have to hold it back. It's really annoying. But you can buy um, a, a bolt, bolt release catch, and they're like $10. I got mine off Kid Innovative Design. They're one of the biggest uh, brands for 22 upgrades, and it's pretty cool. Um, it took me less than 10 minutes to put it inside the gun. Once you do that, all you do is pull back, 
pull back and you press a little uh, button down here that you uh, for the, the that's the part and you put that in there and you're good to go so I can drop the magazine I can do whatever I need to load the magazine back in ready to fire again just do that you're good to go real simple and it's super cheap and inexpensive and of course like I said you can do so much more you can upgrade the trigger the trigger group um, you can completely replace all of this you can get new barrels which I plan to do a kid innovative design also offers a lot of uh, barrels that are really cool now let's talk ammo so with Ruger 1022 there's so much ammo it's such a huge variety of ammo but just like any gun I mean you can look at a 12 gauge shock and there's so much different ammo types I mean like you have a shock and you have slugs and double lot and number four buckshot and you have turkey loads and you have all this kind of stuff um, you look at 9mm, you have, you know, target loads and match loads and hollow points and self-defense and all this kind of stuff. You look at a 1022, I have some uh, boxes right here. And so, 22s also, I mean, there's got a lot of stuff. I mean, not just brand-wise, you have purpose-wise, you know, you have, um, of course, this is going to be shooting 20, 22 LR, which is long rifle, of course. And so you have some, like, Remington, you also have some Browning. And then these other three boxes are just Winchesters, and so you have a pretty big variety. And so, like these Remingtons, let's see, these are high velocity 22 plated round nose. They are, let's see, 1,255 um, velocity. They're pretty good. They're pretty inexpensive. I mean, this is 100 rounds, I believe. Yeah, there's 100 rimfire cartridges. This goes for ooh, maybe six, seven bucks. That's Portland Warehouse. Pretty inexpensive. They get the job done. They're pretty decent. A target load and they're very inexpensive now looking at these brownings um, these are BPR hollow points they're 40 grain and they're 1435 so a little bit faster than these are hollow points uh, I mixed reviews on these guys um, they're I think this is a hundred rounds I believe so hundred rounds for these are about closer to ten dollars I would say maybe like eight um, they're okay. Um, half the time, they're they run really dirty. I've I've had the um, in my experience, um, they dirty up my gun a lot quicker than these other two. Um, these other two brands, these other two loads, and um, they're okay. I mean, they're decent for hollow points. They're not too bad. They very have a higher velocity to forty grains, so they're not too bad. Um, but I mean, and then. They're, they're okay. I mean, they're kind of mid-level and I wouldn't, I don't know if I would you know, continuously load. I just have some leftover because I didn't use it the last time I went out. Now, my top choice for some 22 um, ammo would be these Winchesters. A little bit more expensive than the other two options. They're probably 10 11 12 dollars for 100 So, um, but they're, they're not too bad. These are 40 grain as well. They're 1,280 FPS, so a little bit faster than these, but not as fast as the uh, Brownings that we have here. Um, if you look at the thing, it's a small game, of course, PowerPoint, Copper Plated. They're great. They feed 100% um, of the time. They're, they're just really great uh, cartridges, and I would definitely always use these. And their winches are super X, uh, to correct myself. And so they, these are great uh, cartridges for your 1022. There are also, you know, you have um, your pest control ones, you can have, um, there's just so much other ones, you know, you have, you also have your 22 HMR, I believe, you have uh, just, just so much wide range of 22 ammo, and so, but um, I would say definitely Remington is a good way to go if you're kind of trying to be cost uh, efficient and, you know, you're on a budget and you just want to go, just have some fun at the range, but um, I found these are more accurate. These kick a little bit more, of course. But um, I would definitely say the Winchester are your, probably going to be your, your best bet. I would definitely recommend those. Pretty versatile. Um, they, they get the job done. Alright guys, so that has been the Ruger 1022 review and all of its customization glory. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the next video. See you. <sighs> Reds, Apple Ale. I do not sponsor them, so don't ask. For um, pin for that. Fine, you're not dude. Burr.